Welcome back our viewers. We are still with the, the ambassador of the Lord Jesus Christ, Pastor Sami Opingo, sharing with us his testimony, the journey of his life, and the situation in Kenya today concerning uh, gospel ministers. I was saying, Pastor, what is, uh, what's happening? Because if you compare to worship and the way in which um, the experience of worship in churches or in open-air meetings in the 90s, as to what is happening now, we see a very big, uh, a very big difference. We have uh, people in churches now, we are worshiping in languages uh, from other places. So we don't know what we are saying. Wengine unapata ni mama mzea na jaribu kungangana kutaja maneno ya Nigeria. Why are we finding music from outside more appealing and more touching as to compare to what is in the country today? And I'm not speaking generally, I'm speaking specifically. Karibu. If I was asked to 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 speak to a Kenyan worshiper, I will say, uh, personally, I was there, early 90s, mm -hmm. when God will use musicians to give himself glory. Mm -hmm. The time musicians prayed, fasted, and seek to the face of God, for God to be manifested through their music ministry, wherever they were serving God. But uh, the enemy tried to trick the musicians or worshippers those days. And because of the fame, and most of them who are known, they begin to beat their chests. And they began to feel like without me or us, the meeting will not continue. Uh, to be precise, I would say, this must have been because of pride, uh, rebellion, as a result of people not humbling themselves, seeking the face of God, mm. praying and fasting. Mm. So, because that time I had a band, and we had many other singers, which I knew, we were not sensitive enough even to sense when God when God's presence was departing from us. Mm. And that time God brought to himself worshippers from other countries. Mm. So you'll find a crusade and then you'll find the worship leader or the music ministers are from neighboring countries mm. or other countries. Wow. So it's so painful because I still see it happening even up to now. And I want to tell you, it's not very easy today to bring worshippers and music ministers down mm -hmm. and tell them, let's pray together mm -hmm. and ask God to intervene into our lives. Mm -hmm. I don't see unity. Everybody wants to sing on his own, on her own for the sake of what they must gain, what they must get. Mm. You are calling me to sing in a crusade. You are calling me to sing in a conference. What am I going to get? Yeah. Let's negotiate. And today in Kenya, some will ask for 20,000 per day, which is $200 per day. Mm. Some even 300. And some will want to ask for the same from even outside countries. I saw a pastor we invited a band from Nigeria and he paid for their return ticket, gave them a commendation, and honored them. So there's some kind of a confusion. Of course, I left job with Kenya Post and Telecommunication. I have a big band. But uh, I don't think if there's any man who can pay me. Mm -hmm. But God who called me, I remember even those days, we were all serving God by faith. And we were not employed anywhere. Mm -hmm. Committed to the ministry. Mm -hmm. But God made us famous. Wow. He advertised and make sure, he made sure that he opened doors for us because we had hearkened to his voice. And we had 
this, we, we were in unity in serving him. Mm. By the time we felt mm. we are being misused mm. by man, mm. and we began to drop and we That was the seed that was planted, of course, by the enemy using 90s. man. Mm -hmm. So today I will want to assure you, if you find a music minister who will say, yes, Lord, I'm going to Mombasa, no negotiation, you'll be very lucky. Wow. Today, wow. it is about what am I getting? Mm, mm. And God is not bothered. There's a scripture I love, I love reading. It is in the book of uh, Revelation chapter 5, verses 11. Mm. And I heard and I saw mm. thousands and thousands and thousands and tens of thousands worshipping the Lord in loud voices saying worthy is the Lamb to be praised. You know, people should know God is not desperate. We have millions and millions of angels worshipping him. It's just by the grace of God for us to get a platform to stand in the gap, to worship him. Wow. We are not better than those who left. Mm. Mm. So music ministers and those who want to call them artists, because there are some today, I see them in Kenya, today is a gospel singer. Mm. Tomorrow, he is a secular singer. Mm. And then the other day, he lived secular singing. He says, I've come back to the artist. Mm. Turn me to the gospel music. Mm. So there's confusion because mm. people don't want to pray. Mm. People don't want to seek the face of God. Mm. People don't want to fast. Mm. People don't want to humble. But they want fame, wealth of this world, and riches. This is deep, Pastor, and you're speaking to my heart right now. <laughs> but you realize that uh, people don't want to be told the truth. Yeah. And uh, when you speak this kind of language, they will ask questions. Uh, some will say, okay, uh, am I not supposed to ask? Because uh, I, if, for example, I'm coming from, I'm, I'm going to Uganda, I'm going to Tanzania, I'm going to Mombasa, I need transport, I need accommodation. Should I not put that together for myself and for my, my band or the people that I'm singing or my team? Should we not ask? Should we not, uh, should we not give conditions? There are some who have given conditions, say that I only fly KQ, I only fly British Airways, I only fly this airline and I fly, you know, I don't fly economy and uh, I can only, th another one gave us a list of five hotels where they can stay in, uh, in the coast. Should I not ask, what if I go and then I'm stuck there because I did not ask? They will ask all of these questions. What I know, there's here? a time, uh, there's a time I uh, was invited by a certain pastor in Nairobi, if not a bishop. And I came with a band. They put us in African, African Hotel Africana. Mm -hmm. And after the mission, they refused to pay the, the hotel bills. And we were locked in the hotel. Yes. It happened again. There's a pastor who called me in Dandora with a the band. They put us to spend a night, I mean, to put up in a hotel in Umoja. He disappeared with the money. He didn't pay. So what is happening here, it's not be like, pay me to serve God. Yes. But you can, you can have a dialogue and say, we have a crusade. And uh, our vision is this and this. And uh, this is what we are able to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is what See, we are able to do. To have an understanding. Yeah. That, for example, when you get, um, you know, when you're invited to go and minister in the Western world, mm. they specifically tell you on the invitation mm. letter, yeah, they yeah. say, we will take care of your accommodation, we yes. will take care of your transport from one place to another and we will give you what they call the honorarium. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. So that even when you go, you know, you, know. you organize and plan yourself. Yeah. So uh, me, what I would want to encourage most of the musicians, maybe I would say those days when we were beginning, they were so idle. Mm. They didn't have vision, mission, or their own life purposes. So they depended on what they will get mm. from the mission. Yes. 
but I always now encourage musicians to have something to do, mm. maybe a business mm. or whatever they think they can do best mm. to make ends meet. Mm. So that when you are invited to go and minister anywhere, you are in a position to just serve God with joy. Amen. Because after this mission, wherever you are going, you are sure that the Lord will bless you. Mm. But personally, what God has done to me, everywhere I go, everywhere I go, even if people are not appreciated, they have not appreciated me enough, there's a way God compensates. Like for example, wow. I went to ministry in Pakistan. And I was in Pakistan for one and a half months. Mm. I had 55 appointments to preach. And uh, I didn't know that the pastor who invited me was raising money, using me to raise money. So he raised a lot of money because he was building a guest house. Mm. I didn't know. Oh, no. So after the missions, mm. and now I'm coming back to Kenya, he takes me to the airport. He tells me, bye. God bless you. See you again. Have nothing. <laughs> and I had used Air Arabia. And in Air Arabia, you buy even water. Mm. So from Pakistan to Nairobi, I had only $30, which I had kept for myself. I could not even drink water. So I landed at the airport. I could not afford the taxi. So I took a bus with my luggage. I had a lot of gifts of Pakistan gowns. Those are Islamic gowns, you know. So when I came in my house and my son receives me and says, welcome home, daddy. And so he expected that dad has come with some gifts. So when I had left shortly, got into my suitcase and so he's trying to look, is there anything that he has brought? No, he's seeing Islamic gowns. <laughs> <laughs> and then he left. So, like for me, I was asking myself, God, for sure, did you send me to Pakistan? Hey, musicians, God, you've been through a lot. Did you send me to Pakistan? So I locked myself in the house mm -hmm. for two weeks, just asking God. And you know, I had borrowed a ticket, and I knew when I come back, maybe I'll be blessed and I'll pay back. Mm -hmm. There was nothing. But one thing those people did for me in Pakistan, they made the pictures of the meetings I was preaching viral on the internet. And then somebody looked at these pictures, he was one of the countries overseas, mm. and he said, hey, so you went to Pakistan? How was the mission? How, how much was the ticket? And then he said, the ticket was $9,900. And then I say, he said to me, let me see what I'll do. Wow. He sent me 2,800 American dollars. Wow, praise God. So I thought my help will come from Pakistan. But God's plan was my help will come from somewhere else. Wow. So if we serve God with the expectation that our help will come from some individuals, we'll be frustrated. Mm. But if we can serve God, he's a rewarder. Praise the Lord. He can use another means mm. to minister to our needs. Oh, hallelujah. So wow. what I want to say, the music ministers in Kenya, yes, you may put conditions, mm. but I have seen those people put conditions. And uh, today I want to say I cannot see them or hear them anymore. True, true. But for those people who have been able to humble themselves and just serve God, some of them are blessed beyond measure. Wow. Wow. Amen. Amen. So serve God without conditions because God is is a rewarder. Tell us about uh, the songs that you have done and uh, maybe pick one song that speaks more or carries a lot of your testimony. I must say that I've done a lot of songs. And uh, if not among the people in this nation who have been greatly used of the Lord and have done many songs, maybe I would want to say um, the one that has many songs composed that is worship and praise. I may have had a lot of warfare. The enemy tried to hinder me financially just from doing all these songs on video. But I'm trusting God because he's faithful. He's helped me do all this. There are more than 700 songs. 
but uh, there's a song by the grace of God I managed to do uh, one month ago. Uh, it's in my mother tongue. And I'm saying I'm tired of wickedness. You know, uh, Reverend Eunice, I was invited to go and sing somewhere. I was just to, to do a song. And they sent somebody to come and call me to go and do that same, same song. But because of jealousness, and this man, me, I knew he's born again. Instead of this guy taking me where the meeting is, he went somewhere in our hotel and he called for porridge. <laughs> and it's not because porridge was ready. I'm sorry. They began to prepare porridge. And then porridge comes after one hour. And by the time the porridge is coming to the table there, we are, it's too hot. We could not take it immediately. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so we took another one hour. Oh, no. So taking porridge took us two hours. And after that, he began to greet people, wasting time. So by the time we went to a place where the meeting was, we were late by five hours. Oh, no. So they asked us, we have been waiting for you from 10 a.m. And now it's 3 p.m. Where have you been? This guy was not there to answer any question. I was there. But because we were late, I realized I missed $860 just because of porridge. I'm sorry. This man strategically yeah. robbed me yes. $860. And an opportunity to minister. And an opportunity to minister because of jealousy. And I knew this man is born again. But I never knew he's a hypocrite. So I've realized we have so many hypocrites. Mm. People who, in the face we look at them, they look like they celebrate us, but yet in their hearts, mm. they're so wicked. So I came up with a song and this song, and I said, no, I'm tired of this kind of a people in my life. God, deliver me, and just give me a direction. I want to connect with the people who are in connection with the Holy Spirit. So I came up with that song in my mother tongue. And I am tired of hypocrisy and wickedness in the church today. Wow. Is it on YouTube? Yes, it's on YouTube. Yes. Yeah, Samuel Pingo official. Samuel Pingo official on yes, YouTube. On YouTube. And Jonere. <laughs> I am tired. Yes. yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. Let's listen to it. Amen. <laughs> Ama kuwa kwa kwa lamba tukiwa tesiri Ina 
and talk to them. Share with them some of the fatherly lessons that you have learned. Yeah, I would want to say to, to some of them may be daughters, sons, brothers, sisters, and to some maybe even fathers who may have given up. I know music ministry has a lot of battles and warfare. Uh, one time one of my spiritual fathers talked to me when I was in Western Kenya, that must have been Bishop Wawire, and he got a revelation and he said, even us, as men of God in Western Kenya, we've been wondering, why must you go through all that you have gone through? Then when he got a revelation, he said, God has chosen you and anointed you to be his weapon of warfare through worship. And uh, he called, Bishop Owira called all the pastors, the bishops, the apostles, and laid hands on me. I was highly favored that time, and I managed to get the revelation that I was favored of the Lord, to be used of the Lord, in that generation, today in this generation, now with understanding and with the revelation. You are not serving men, you are serving God. And the Bible says, uh, a time cometh, and now it is, when the true worshipers shall worship the Father. That's the Father in spirit and in truth. Be aware we have false worshipers. So you be a true worshiper. And to be a true worshiper, you can never ever be separated with the word. Prayer and fasting. Seeking the face of God. Staying in the presence of God. Because you cannot do anything on your own unless the Lord as commanded. I want to tell you this. I have songs I started composing. That's gospel music from 1993. Some of them I've not recorded even up to now. I'm still seeking the will of the Father. And that's why today I'm so frustrated. Some songs are composed and sung. And after two, three, four months, it's no more. Because there's no message. And people are doing it for fame. But I want to specifically address true worshippers. It may not be easy, as it has not been easy for me. But if it's a calling from God, I'm so proud and I celebrate you. Because you are chosen and you are called over him. He has promised he will never leave you. He will never forsake you. So be encouraged. Don't run to the studios to record, to be famous. But wait on the Lord. At his appointed time, do his will. Here on earth, as it is in heaven. Many people want to be known. I've discovered a, a secret. When you make him known, he will do the rest. Others, I love you, I'm praying for you, and I'm looking forward to seeing Kenyan worship, Kenyan music ministers to be anointed of the Lord and to be used of the Lord, get deeper revelation, to compose songs, praise and worship songs that will be a blessing to this nation, to this continent, and to the nations of the world. Today, Kenya is now depending on West Africa, South Africa, and other countries trying to borrow worship songs, some which are even in their mother tongues. We even don't understand what they're talking about. But I'm praying, as you humble yourself, seek the face of God, he will reveal himself to you. And I'm looking forward to hear anointed songs revealed to you by the Spirit of God. Just like I've heard some, I've been singing some of these songs, uh, the hymns, and I'm asking myself, when were these hymns composed? When were they sung? That many years, even up to now, 
they still look new, refreshing. They are healing people as people worship and sing. May the Lord use you to sing songs that will last for ages so that through that anointing, his name shall be glorified. And at the point in time of the Lord, because he knows you have needs, even before you have asked, he knows what you need. So move on. Serve him. And he will do the rest. I celebrate your calling. And I celebrate the breakthrough, the miracles, signs and wonders that God is going to perform in your lives as you serve him. I think that's what I can tell. Wow. Mm. Wow. Thank you very much. It's a powerful, powerful words, very deep uh, spiritual advice that uh, this is a time of revival. And I want you to know when I will keep saying this, Jesus Christ is coming back. May we be found worthy. May we be found in his presence. And like David said, may your presence not depart from me. May we seek to know that which is right. And once we have known, let us follow it. It has been an honor to have you, ambassador of Jesus Christ. I like that title, <laughs> a music um, minister. Yes. Oh, it is an honor even to speak with you today. I can assure you, as you are speaking, I have been feeling the presence of God. Amen. I can tell you that right now, I have known you for many years. We have been good friends. Yeah. I can tell you that this time, there is something in you <laughs> that I have not experienced or seen before. Amen. You are operating at a different level, and all the preparation that you went through, it was for this time. Amen. Last week I was uh, preaching on uh, our social platforms, and I was talking, God gave me a message for such a time as this. Mm and about the book of Esther and the lessons of the, of the Queen Esther, how she came to save the people of God. So God has been preparing you. Yeah. I believe with all my heart <laughs> that you are one of the end time vessels Amen. that God has been preparing for the revival, which has already begun, by the way. If you mm. didn't know, the revival is here. People mm. are praying like never before. There, there is an army that God has been preparing, and right now it is beginning to rise up. And I, I am privileged, honored, together with my brother, to be part of that army. Thank you very much. I want to give you a gift uh, on behalf of our program, uh, Wounded Beauty, uh, where we have decided not to remain in the place of being wounded. Mm. Uh, we are turning scars into stars. Stars, yeah. Yes. <laughs> I want to give you this uh, cape. Thank you. This is our logo, Wounded mm -hmm. Beauty. Yes. And then turning scars into stars. Amen. Whenever you wear it, remember us. Yes. Uh, preach about what we are doing, share our programs. Amen. Oh, thank you. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> turning scars into stars. Yes. For the glory of God. Amen. Amen. And I ask you to just say a little prayer for mm. our viewers. Father, we thank you because of this ministry. We thank you because you have called your servant, Reverend Eunice, such like a time whereby those that have been wounded, those that have been hurting, you are able to declare good news to their lives, that through this ministry, you will heal the brokenhearted, the hurting, and what the enemy intended to do for evil, you will turn it for good. And all shall celebrate just like I have celebrated, just like you have used me when I had gone through all this rejection. Now, taken me to nations of the world, we pray that there will be a testimony in the life of each one of of those that are the viewers of this program, that, Lord, you are intervening in every situation to lift them up, that your name 
through all that you have gone through, will be glorified. Arise, Lord, and let all your enemies be scattered. I pray for their salvation, their healing, their deliverance, and their restoration. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, we pray. Amen. 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 Until next time, bye-bye. Bye-bye.